hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i'm really excited to be showing you guys all of my empties for the month of june i know i'm a little late because it's already probably like the 8th of july and i should have had this video up weeks ago but thank you guys so much for being patient with me and i'm just here to show you guys my empties for the month but before we get started i just want to say if you're interested in keeping up with me on any other of my platforms you guys can go ahead and follow my instagram or follow my twitter i'll leave it in the link below or i'll leave it actually in my description box so if you guys are interested go ahead and check that out and i just do want to say like i say in every video thank you guys so much if you're already subscribed to my youtube channel it really does help me out a lot and if you're new here to my channel feel free to check out some of my other content and then if you like it go ahead and subscribe i do want to say before we start though that i am going to put the full image of my empties it is on my instagram so if you're interested go ahead and check that out and if i remember i will go ahead and put a picture of it in this video because i know on screen right now it looks a little bit hectic but we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna go ahead and get started and the first thing we're gonna start with is this pineapple prosecco hand soap and this hand soap was amazing i used it for probably a month in my bathroom and this was the only hand soap that i had to use for last month i will give you guys the scent notes i don't know if you care about that but the scent notes for this hand soap were sparkling pineapple bubbly prosecco and white nectarine to me this smelled like a pineapple cream puff it smelled like a sweet pineapple dessert but the pineapple wasn't overpowering you got a creaminess with it kind of like some type of whipped cream you got a hint of pineapple and it was just amazing overall if i had to rate this i would give it a 10 out of 10 and i would recommend it and get it again it's just amazing i'm happy i have a backup of it and this definitely is a hand soap that i would pick up more than we're going to go ahead and move on to the next thing. The next thing we have is this Vanilla Bean Noel hand cream. I think that this hand cream was amazing. I used it for probably three weeks over the course of me like going to work and everything. And this smelled purely like cake batter. I know in the past I've really been a critic when it comes to Vanilla Bean Noel because normally I say it has no throw, it has no type of scent. I don't really like it in the candle or in the wallflower. But this was amazing. This smelled purely like a type, like a vanilla cake batter. And it's something that was just amazing. It smelled yummy and it made you kind of want a type of cake. If I had to give this a rating, I would probably give it an eight out of 10 only because it did its job. It did keep my hands moisturized and it did smell good. So we're gonna go ahead and move on. The next empty I have for the month, the hand sanitizer I used, was just this Don't Quit Your Dra Don't Quit Your Daydream in Blue Raspberry. I think it was amazing. I use this in my car, so I don't really run through hand sanitizer as much when I put it in my car. But this hand sanitizer was amazing. It smells true to the name Blue Raspberry. It kind of reminds me of the candle they came out with for the summer. Can't remember the name of it, but I will put a picture of it on the screen. But it reminds me of just like a cool raspberry or kind of like a bomb pop. I don't know if you guys know what a bomb pop is. I'll insert a picture of that also. But it kind of just smelled like a type of popsicle. And it was just something nice, especially for like June, since the 4th of July was coming up. If I had to rate this anything, I would definitely give it a 9 out of 10, only because the scent was extremely good and it did do its job by sanitizing my hands, but it was something that you would get tired of if you smelled it a lot. That's why I'm only going to give it a 9 out of 10. The next empty I have for the month is this wallflower and Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Now I know before, you guys know for me, I've talked about wallflowers and my love-hate relationship with them. This one was good, but just not for the area that it was in. I did put this in my bathroom, but if it was probably in an open space like a living room or dining room, it would smell better. This was pretty good throughout the month, but as you can see at the bottom, I don't know why it just stopped burning. I had this in for probably the past month and a half during June and probably like the end of May, but it just stopped burning. Normally my wallflowers go down to the end and they empty out but this one kind of just stopped and normally it doesn't take me over a month to finish a wallflower so that was kind of disappointing this is something that i would not purchase again only because of the scent i would prefer it in the candle because to me it smells completely different in the wallflower versus the candle if i had to give this any type of rating i would probably give it a four out of ten just because it did not completely finish and it took probably a month and a half just to use up what it did use up and it did not give off the best smell so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next empties the next thing i got is this glade room spray in honey 
in red honeysuckle nectar i think that this was amazing it lasts in my bathroom probably two months at a time only because i don't really use sprays that often in my bathroom but this was definitely amazing i would give it a 10 out of 10 just because it came off as kind of like um like a red honey crisp apple that's what it smelled like to me it was something that was really nice and it was not overbearing or too powerful so i would just give this a 10 out of 10 we're gonna go ahead and move on the next empty i got was this pink lemonade candle now you guys know i love this candle so very very much i had to get like four or five backups of it just because i'm afraid that it's not going to come back out next year but this candle was amazing to me it smells purely like strawberry lemonade once again i don't know if you guys care about the scent notes but the scent notes were street sweet strawberry puree acai berries fresh lemonade and sugar and it smells true to the name it smells like a strawberry lemonade it wasn't too tart it had that strawberry hint but you still got the lemonade behind it and this was amazing i would definitely give this a 10 out of 10 because it did have a clean burn for the month i didn't have to cotton ball it didn't burn too high there was no sooting and it went all the way to the bottom so we're like the wick studded out but it was just amazing i definitely would recommend this to anybody who wants something sweet for the summer but not something that's going to make your house hotter and i know that's kind of hard to explain but this is something it's just a nice strawberry lemonade drink is what it is to me filled up my whole house and i just love it The next empty we have is this watermelon lemonade candle. I know in the past, I don't know if I told you guys this, but in the past, I've had a love-hate relationship with watermelon lemonade. In the fine fragrance mist, I really did not like it. I felt like it was really overbearing. But in the candle, I don't know why, but I had a change of heart and I picked this up at Candle Day. And this is actually really, really amazing. I also got a backup of it. Watermelon lemonade, kind of like pink lemonade, was not too overbearing with the lemonade scent. It smells purely like watermelon with lemonade, but with the tartness taken out. So it was just a really sweet scent. Same with pink lemonade. It didn't really have any sooting. I had no real issues with it. So I would definitely give this candle also a 10 out of 10. And the scent notes, once again, are watermelon ice, sparkling water, mayor lemon with essential oils. But yeah, I definitely would give this a 10 out of 10. And I did pick up a few backups of it. And the last empty I have for the month is this Market Peach candle. So I will say Market Peach did start off strong. It was something that was amazing. I know a lot of people were saying this is the Georgia Peach candle. They just renamed it. I'm not sure about that because I don't have Georgia Peach. But Market Peach was really nice. You got a strong peach scent at first. And by the end, I started to kind of dislike the candle only because you got that dewy scent. So the scent notes for this candle were juicy peaches, dew covered leaves, hint of vanilla with essential oils. By like the halfway mark with this candle, all I really smelled was the dewiness and like the leaves and it started to smell like an outdoors candle. It started to smell like outside. So I really would not repurchase this again because I already have one in my collection. And plus I really did not like the ending of this candle. I will say on a positive note, this candle did not give me any problems. It didn't soot. I don't think I had to cotton ball it from where I can remember. But I would only give this candle a 7 out of 10 just because of the ending smell and how it changed. So this is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. And if you like my video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up below. Comment down below what are some things you use throughout the month or what are some things for my empties that you also use or some things that you really like. Feel free to go ahead and check out my Instagram. I will link it down below if you would like to see the actual picture of my empties by the end of the month. And go ahead and feel free to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.